My name is Nizar Talib. I'm a martial arts instructor. I had a back uh, pain and uh, Dr. Patrick Price uh, walked on my body. And in fact, uh, Dr. Patrick Price is, is more than a chiropractic. He is a martial arts uh, instructor too. So especially for the athletes, he knows how the muscle moves, how your body works. Uh, he works on your body. He uh, gives you more stabilization. He makes your body, he put it uh, back into its uh, most uh, powerful and strength situation. So uh, working on me, uh, it's really uh, put me back into my uh, maximum uh, power and strength. Especially the athletes, I encourage them to come and see Dr. Patrick Price because uh, for the athletes that they compete, that they have competition, uh, Dr. Patrick Price will know how to stabilize your body, will know how to put it into its maximum uh, strength and maximum pressure, uh, maximum power, especially before your fight. Hello, this is Dr. Price, and here we are today with my good friend Nazar Talib, uh, ex-professional kickboxer, international kickboxing coach, and has been my coach for many years in kickboxing. And so today we have him on the table. Uh, we're going to look at many kickboxers and martial artists experience low back pain and tightness in their hamstrings and legs. And today we're going to give his body a good check out to see what's not working for him so he can perform better. Because believe me, even though he's a coach, he still loves to train. And I know any martial artist out there, a person in sports likes to use their body well. And low back pain is a high percentage of people in the world today who experience it. I'm going to show you some brief things to turn those muscles back on so you have fully functional legs again and your core is back in action. So here we go. We're going to lay his arm back on his back. Actually, let's go face down first today. Let's do this. I'm going to show you all first when they go face down, you're looking at, uh, looking at the hips. Now, what we look at is that uh, we look at the hips and we have both his arms down. I'm going to test his hamstrings first. As you point the foot, as the heel goes in one direction versus the other direction, it's testing each hamstring. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to give me, give me some strength. And that locks. If so we go to this foot, this locks. Now I go to the calves and he's going to point the toes up. Okay? And you notice it's kind of spongy. Now what happens is right where the muscles come together into a bony area here. They come together as tendons. I'm going to be very uh, simple in my technique today. I'm going to use this thing called an activator, activator or a, J, a JTEC. And we're going to go right in here and head right where the tendon should be coming on at. And you'll see full strength returns instantly. Okay. So he relaxes his leg, goes over to the side. I want to see strength of internal rotation and external rotation. Then I want to check out his glutes. He holds the leg up. And you'll see he's got some sponginess in the legs, not quite contracting on a full strength here. Okay? Also, uh, we're going to show you the feet in just a moment. Martial artist's feet, or any, really anybody's feet, you have 32 bones in your foot. And the, the heel, the calcaneus, very important to get this to move correctly. So from here, I'm going to show you how lifting here, pushing down to it, it shows the weakness again. Now I'm going to go to where the strength is. Come on down. So, when you lift the glute, you're going to check it. It's going to be a trap, a muscle on the opposite side of the head. And I'm going to stimulate it on him. It's kind of tender when I do this. And hold his leg back up. Full strength. How easy was that? Okay, back down. And go to the other leg, same thing. Test his, his hamstrings out both sides. Toes up, the calves. His internal rotation. Hold that strong. His external rotation. And notice this isn't quite holding. This is usually a spinal segment. I'm going to use my little activator again. Hold it strong, and you see 100% back on again. Lift his leg up. Okay, now we see, once again, he's losing power in that hip. Okay, so we're going to go back to here. These are the upper traps. The upper traps are kidney muscles, so it could show some kind of fluid imbalance going. Now look at their full strength back on again. This is all by touch, just by using the hands, guys. Now, looking since he's face down, I'm going to go here, 
And you hear the toes moving, and we'll move some bones in the feet. Adjust the heel. And then one more pull there. Good movement in that heel, the calcaneus. This takes, the calcaneus is very important to be in the right position for it to have the low back stop hurting. When it's out of place, you will have low back pain, okay? You hear that clunk there? That's that heel going back in place. And there's the other side. So now I'm gonna test some other motions. Hold the strong. This is the usual thing I do with every patient who has low back pain. I'll run through these segment of areas. Now here you have the, the sacrum. It's the upside down pyramid. If he holds a straight leg up, resist. And let the other one come up, straight leg. This is checking the pelvis. Let it down. Okay. And he holds the leg back up again. And there's the strength back. Okay, now without looking at anywhere else, because as, as a chiropractor, you can go through it, you can adjust the full spine as well. I'm not doing this today, I just want to show you specifically how we work on the low back in details. Now, uh, we're going to have him turn over now, face up. Now, here's the important part. What I mean by that, everything's important, but being a, knowing that he's a martial artist and he's a kicker, he has to have full power in his legs. Now look at right here. Here he is, trained athlete, but has no power in that quad. Okay? Very common thing. Now I'm going to use reflexes. A lot of people may not know what, these, what this means. As he makes a fist, the hand simply means positive or negative type energies. Just like you're working with electricity in the body, he's going to touch a reflex for the small intestines. When he holds his thigh up, make that strong, he's got full strength back again. Full strength. He takes his hand off. And it's just like it was before. Okay? <laughs> very strange to people when this happens. I just say very unique. So he touches the spot, and I'm going to ask his body where to go. And it shows a vascular area on the head. Okay? So on the head, there's all the little uh, areas where the bones come together. All the little suture spots. And you'll have all these little vascular areas that are going to become very tender when you touch them. And there are small little capillaries that are just under the scalp. And with these small capillaries, we stimulate the scalp to get them to open back up again. Hold it strong. And look what happens. Full strength in his thigh again. This is one considerable thing to happen uh, with the legs. The other area is the psoas. There's a psoas minor, psoas major, iliacus muscles. Uh, many may not know what this means, but there are different regions of the area checking the hip. I'm just going to go through them. There's one. No power. Here's another one. So if he was going out for a professional fight right now, he would be greatly limited uh, throwing roundhouse kicks with his right leg. If I go all the way to the side, and definitely he has no power there. I just want to show you before we go through the turning this back on again. Hold this strong. And I'm going to test it here for you guys. And then way out here. Okay. Now see the left side? That comes right back on. The back again, we need to find out, and this is where we're becoming the body detective. This is where I got the name from because now we need to solve the mystery of the body. Where is the electrical circuit not turned on correctly? Sometimes it's the opposite muscles. Hold here. He's going to squeeze this tight, hold this strong. There, that made it come back on. Sometimes it's a muscle in the neck. But not today. Sometimes it's the diaphragm. Breathe in, hold the breath. Uh, the diaphragm is also involved. So breathing can test the diaphragm, whether there's a cramp or tightness on one side of the diaphragm versus the other. A big area to look for to find weaknesses in the legs. So right now we know it's it's the left. Okay? But I'm gonna look at it first as a chiropractor, not as a kinesiology person. First is looking, could it be a bone out of place in the neck? So we're going to have him touch a spot in his neck. Hold the strong. Touch right there in his arm. There. He's going to touch where the atlas is, the first ball in the neck. Let's just down. Hold the strong. Now look at there. Right back on again. So the easiest thing to do in this moment is actually make the bone move in the neck. I'm going to do that for you. Let's sit up a little. So this is atlas. Atlas is the very first bone. 
And if you've never seen a chiropractic adjustment, some people need to be adjusted with speed and timing. Some need to be adjusted by a very light touch, like the activator. It just depends on what the person. Now, his head, I'm sure, has been punched many times over the years, so I'm sure he's pretty solid in his head. Okay. But that doesn't mean that his neck is all that happy about what's happened from all the trauma. And all we're doing is returning motion. So we're going to make sure his head can turn all the way back before forth, return the full motion back to, uh, we're looking at rotation. And then I check, make sure he has extension in every little bone in his neck. Okay, lay back. So all we do is adjust what? His upper cervical neck. Now recheck the muscle, hold it strong. 100% back on. Now just to check and double check, what I like to do is he touches that area, he touches the atlas again, and watch what happens. Now it's just the opposite of it. This is the way it should work. He should be able to touch a spot and it should come back on. All right, so now check in the, all the ranges here. Okay, now he still has a spot here. This is called the iliacus muscle. Now this is usually because when something doesn't work in the hip, you look on the opposite side of the body. This is not a, a real well-known technique, but it could be something going on in his shoulder. So as we go from here, he gives me pressure here and pressure here, they both lock. That should not happen. I'm gonna stimulate that where he probably loves me at this point, how much good this feels, right? So what he does, he has like a little muscle cramp. These are the pec minor and majors where they kind of connect to each other. Watch what happens. Hold the strong. Back on. Now, when this muscle is working right, the opposite side, when we test it again, that's what happens. Just the opposite. Two things contracting, now they both let go. This is the synchronicity of the body, how it moves. So we're looking at this leg, be every segment to be back and working again. How about that? Now, the other areas, tensor fasciolata, we call this, hold this strong, hold this out here, strong. Of course, there's different angles of it. When I go a little higher angle, look what happens. Hold this up. All right, so because he has an angle here, it goes a little weak. Now watch. So it goes back to the shoulder once again. the legs, the adductors, hold the strong, and so his adductors are weak over here, hold the strong, that one locks, those are lovely areas in his side here, he really likes it when I do this thing, by the way, okay, hold the strong, back on, solid, okay, turn the foot in, there's a little muscle inside the leg, the gracilis, and there we go. So as of right now, without doing the rest of the body, we at least got the lower part of the body all functioning, all the kicking muscles, all the jumping muscles are back on. So I want to conclude this video that we're showing right now, how to work on the athlete, how to work on the martial artist and turn on his core muscles so he can go out to perform 100%. I'm Dr. Price. I'll see you in the next video. You take care.